For this video that demonstrates the capability of the new Panasonic UX180, we follow our main character that engages in different um, activities and it all builds up to the last scene where we can actually see who she is. Both UX90 standard and UX180 premium model will be ideal solution for basically any type of productions, such as documentary films, live recordings from sports to events or news gathering. In the manual it said it had a good 5-axis image stabilization. Then we thought, let's take a shot on the back of the ATV. And, and to our surprise, when we looked at the recording afterwards, it looks very, very stable. And yet there is just the hand of the operator and the 5-axis stabilization that does all the work. The camera is equipped with a 1-inch sensor. It brings great balance between the resolution, sensitivity and power of magnification. I was apprehensive about shooting with a 1-inch sensor. I didn't know what to expect at first. But it is a nice trade-off. It gives you the possibility, such as in this camera, to have a very long range lens with a very wide angle. But it also gives you um, a depth of field that's not too shallow. So you can easily use it and you have a bit of wiggling room if you have a, a moving camera, like we have in a lot of shots, and you don't want to uh, get in trouble with a very shallow depth of field. There is no additional accessories needed, no heavy luggage when running after your next news story. All you need is already built in. You can do the tight shots, you can do the very wide shots without exchanging lenses and that speeds up production time a whole lot. So um, you have to get all your shots in in a very, very limited amount of time and the pressure is high to do it right then. And the camera needs to perform very, very well, which it did. I also shot footage for the behind the scenes, but most of the time we shot at night time or in a black box, so it was quite dark. But even under those circumstances, UX180 picked up a lot of detail, it's, it's a really sensitive camera. The flying shot in the woods was done by rigging the camera to a cable between two trees. That was possible because the camera is really lightweight. In one of the takes, the camera even bumped against the tree, so we can say it's quite sturdy. One of the features of this camera is that it does record Ultra HD in 50p and in 60p. So all the shots we needed in Ultra HD and in slow motion, we shot them in 50p and slowed them down by 50%. So we have nice 25p dramatic slow motion. The last thing we shot was the dancing scene and by then we were so used to the camera that all the issues there were were actually filling up the room with smoke and uh, getting the acting right and stuff like that rather than anything with the camera. It was, uh, it was becoming a second nature in a few days. So that's actually a testimony to how ergonomic and um, intuitively the camera operates.